Hey guys, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It is Thursday, February 14th. We got breaking news. This is not financial or investment advice. JP Morgan is uh, going to be launching their own cryptocurrency, JPM Coin. This is mind blowing because we know Jamie Dimon, historically, what has he done? Bash cryptocurrencies, call Bitcoin a scam, call crypto a scam. <clears throat> He's, uh, as you can see here in this headline, I don't give a bleep about Bitcoin. Uh, he's time and time again, guys, just continue to bash it and put it down. It says he doesn't care about it. Don't talk to me about it yet. Yet smoke and mirrors, guys, smoke and mirrors. That's how a lot of these big money uh, folks work. And, and they look at setting a narrative in the media, but they're doing the opposite in the background. So they've been working on this, guys. And uh, we've talked about it. We, I believe they're also also accumulating over the counter. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, all of that, they are buying because JP Morgan is not going to let Fidelity and TD Ameritrade and Bank of America and these other folks steal their lunch. They're, they're, you know, this is a new asset class and those folks are looking to provide services, crypto trading and custodial services. They are not going to get left behind. So let me give you the details. The headline reads here, JP Morgan is rolling out the first U.S. bank backed cryptocurrency to transfer payments business. Um, Engineers at the lender have created JPM coin, a digital token that will be used to instantly settle transactions between clients of its wholesale payments business. Only a tiny fraction of payments will initially be transmitted using the cryptocurrency, but the trial represents the first real world use of a digital coin by a user by a major US bank. While JP Morgan's Jamie Dimon has bashed Bitcoin as a fraud the bank chief and his managers have consist consistently said blockchain and regulated digital currencies help promise so uh let's see the lender moves six trillion dollars around the world every day for corporations in its massive wholesale payments business in trials to set to start in a few months a tiny fraction of what will happen over uh something called jpm coin the digital token created by engineers at the new york based bank bank to instantly settle uh payments for clients so let's see here what else we got uh, i just want to make sure i call out the important items here um let's see yeah i think it just continues to talk about jamie diamond bashing crypto uh and then talking about the real-time settlement so there are three early applications for the jpm coin according to uh, some folks there the first is international payments for large corporate clients which now typically happens using wire transfers between financial institutions on decades old networks like swift so if you we've been talking about swift becoming irrelevant and look at this even jp morgan is like yeah we're done with that because we know XRP brings the superior technology. Now, I'm going to talk about what this means for Ripple and XRP. But I want to make sure I give you guys all the respective uh, details here. So I believe this is being built um, on a something related to Ethereum, guys, uh, as far as the Ethereum network. Um, I'll have to confirm that with you. And I'll do it maybe in, late, in a video later today. But what does this mean for XRP? And here you have Mr. Rand Nooner um, already starting with the FUD. I wonder why they don't use XRP. So here's the thing, you know, the problem is, and we've talked about this and even Ripple's addresses, if one bank creates a coin, that doesn't mean other banks are going to use it because it's still the same issue, right, of different, uh, it's, do I trust this bank, right? It's still that type of relationship. There's not a, a, cent, a central or common ground here where each bank can agree to use this protocol that is neutral, is not owned by one specific bank, which is what Ripple is doing. And we already see banks and uh, folks are starting to adopt it. Um, but once again, Jamie Dimon, uh, sorry, JPM coin, that doesn't mean, uh, you know, Bank of America will use it right it's it's still within their ecosystem so this is within their ecosystem not for some global uh solution that which is ripple uh which which is what ripple's providing um so this is interesting let's see how it plays out it, it may work well for them within their ecosystem now keep that in mind and maybe they're close partners but will every bank globally use it no and that's where the challenge has been that any bank could have done this at any time but how do you get these other 
banks globally in, in, the, in the United Arab Emirates, in, in South America, in Australia? How do you get them to all agree to use this one bank's token right because uh they don't trust each other from that perspective that's why they use a protocol like swift right but which is outdated that's where ripple bringing in um more coming from a neutral standpoint bringing a solution where all these banks can feel comfortable in participating and it doesn't put them at risk right they don't have to hold another bank's token they can use a token like xrp that's on the market on the exchanges and so forth so that's why this is not a threat to XRP, I hope you guys get that. Now, I do want to dig a bit further into it as far as, um, uh, you know, we, we have to get more details, but yeah, some people already started addressing this. Like Esen said, because the use case is different, internal settlement versus cross-border, multi-entity settlement being pegged to the USD in another name for a stable coin. So the JPM coin is kind of a stable coin. Uh, bank issued the digital assets carry counterparty risks. There is nothing to do with XRP, but the, but is bullish for XRP and the market as a whole. So on that point, this further validates the crypto market. So if you, there's still people on the fence talking about crypto is going to zero, the, the, US, the biggest U.S. bank here just launched their own cryptocurrency. This brings so much validity to this market, guys, and to into Bitcoin and other cryptos like XRP. So. This is why I always tell you guys, watch what the big money is doing, not what they're saying. What are they doing? And we got the big smoke and mirror move here from Jamie Dimon. Crypto's garbage. Blah, blah, blah. I scam. Don't talk to me about it. Nonsense. While secretly building their own. And I'm telling you, they are accumulating as well OTC. And we've been seeing uh, big news from Circle, Cumberland, and all these folks talking about Wall Streeters and, and a huge, huge amount of OTC buying, even in the bear market, in the with blood on the streets, because that's where smart money moves. And Jamie Dimon tried to pull a fast one here, and guess what? He got it. He he pulled a fast one on a lot of folks because a lot of weak hands left the market. Many people got discouraged after hearing his comments. So, guys, what do you think about this news? Leave your thoughts and comments below. This is bullish for the market because once again it brings validity to the market right um a guy who was bashing it now has released his own so uh this is coming from a major bank obviously so leave your thoughts and comments below this is very interesting i want to know what you guys think um and uh, you know hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up button thank you for your support and i'll talk to you all later.